We've got a runaway train, boy. We've got a billion Eddie Bazoons all jogging into the future. And every one of them's getting ready to fist fuck God's ex-planet, lick their fingers clean as they reach out with their pristine cybernetic keyboards to total up their fucking billable hours. And then it hits home. You gotta pay your own way, Eddie. It's a little too late to buy out of the game now. Your belly's full, your dick is sore, your eyes are bloodshot, and you're screaming out for someone to help, but guess what? There's no one there. You're all alone, Eddie. You're God's special little creature. Maybe it's true. Maybe God threw the dice once too often. Maybe he's let us all down. G'day, viewers. Thought I'd just give you a quick little gander at this little beauty. Most people around here call him a carpet snake or diamondback python. Mrs. called this one. Well, kind of caught her actually. It was lying over here on the road sunning herself, minding its own business. She thought it was dead. She went to try and move it and whack! Wraps its laughing gear right around her ankle. Starts putting a squeeze on her. Like it's putting on me now. Now, I don't know about you all, but I sure as hell didn't come down from the goddamn Smoky Mountains, cross 5,000 miles of water, fight my way through half a Sicily, and jump out of a fucking aeroplane to teach the Nazis lessons in humanity. Nazis ain't got no humanity, and our battle plan will be that of an Apache resistance. We will be cruel to the enemy. And through our cruelty, they will know who we are. And they will find the evidence of our cruelty in the disemboweled, dismembered, and disfigured bodies of their brothers that we leave behind us. And the German won't be able to help themselves but imagine the cruelty their brothers endured at our hands and our boot heels and at the edge of our knives. And the German will be sickened by us, and the German will talk about us, and the German will fear us. Aurelius Peloto, commonly referred to as carpet or diamondback python, commonly found in Australia, New Guinea, the Bismarck Archipelago, and the Northern Solomon Islands. It's a large non-venomous snake largely considered to be semi-arboreal, climbing trees and shrubs, but also found in outdoor places, forest floors, rock faces, and even roads. This particular specimen was found hazing, sunning itself on the outback dirt road you see behind me. I often contemplate taking my own life. The only thing that distracts me from my suicidal thoughts is trying to understand the minds of deranged criminals, murderers, rapists, child molesters. Catching the scum of humanity is what keeps me going. In a way, I should really be thanking these people for keeping me up at night, thus keeping me alive. Particularly Matt Gaffney. Whoever you are and wherever you are, you elusive bastard, what do you want? What are you trying to achieve? Andrew Becker, faced with a debilitating illness, may the understandable, the personal, the legal choice to keep the fact of his illness to himself. Point number three, his employers discovered his illness, and ladies and gentlemen, the illness I'm referring to his aides. Now the behaviour of Andrew Becker's employers may seem reasonable to you. It does to me. After all, AIDS is a deadly and incurable disease. But no matter how you come to judge Charles Wheeler and his partners in ethical, moral and in human terms, the fact of the matter is when they fired Andrew Becker because he had AIDS, they broke the law.